Hey y'all, Detroit Autorama 2015 and uh, in here on setup day, so don't think this is what it looks like when the show is here, but uh, they have the uh, Fast and Furious cars here, five of them, and I think the one that's most interesting to me is the Charger that uh, Vin Diesel drove. So anyways, I'm going to run through and show you them all, but uh, let's just take a quick look at them. This one should have a little, a little something for everybody, some imports, some modern muscle, some old muscle, and I don't know this series. I don't know nothing, guys. Nobody that follows my channel knows, I tell people. I don't know nothing but what's cool. I know these are cool. This one's got bullet holes in it. of these imports first. Some modern muscle there. It's a cool car. I don't know what they've done here though. Put uh, some kind of a applique on the side of it. I'm not real big on that. It's a wide body kit, but I don't, know. I don't know what to say about it. I don't know what to think of it. They're movie cars, so they're, uh, they get use. That's for sure. And of course, what they look like on the screen, what they look like on the screen and what they look like in real life is two different things, too. Yeah, they got, uh, must have transport tires on this one. They were a lot bigger, it seems like, in the movie. And of course, I could have the cars confused. What do I know? I had read somewhere that all these cars, movie cars like this, were running LSs just so that they were easy to service on the set and you know, it made good horsepower, reliable horsepower and all that. But again, you know, I mean, they're movie cars. one is Chevelle. I don't remember it, but it's sitting here too. Let's shoot it, right? I'll probably find out this was the most popular car in the movie for some reason. So anyways, there you go. Fast and Furious cars from uh, Detroit. Autorama 2015. Let me get over here so we can get a look at these cars with these dudes in it. So, hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.